Starting off, I'm going to show you the 2011 R227 Rabala, which is probably our most versatile boat in the entire line. It's a combination of fishing, family, friends, fun, sandbar boat with tons of features including fishing features, cruising features, and all the creature comforts of home. Starting off up here in the bow, we've got a nice wide bow area with an integrated swim, integrated anchor locker here in the front. And notice it's got a designated holder with tabs to hold the anchor in place. Notice the bottom of the lids are completely finished off and everything's through bolted. Also take notice up here in the front, all of our cleats are flush mounted, so no more snag bathing suits or fishing lines. Up here in the bow we've got a nice deep bow area that can sit three or four people. Underneath all these cushions here in the front is lockable fish box storage. The nice thing about these fish boxes is everything drains overboard, so there's no macerator pumps involved. Also up in the front, it's a convertible sun lounge. There's actually a piece that goes in here, forms a sun lounge, so you can actually use this bow for several different things. A casting platform, a sun deck, or even bow seating up here in the front, U-shaped seating. This boat's got the most storage out of any boat in its class. Starting behind the helm here, you've got a huge storage compartment. Notice the uh, Plano Tackle storage too that comes with the boat as a standard feature. There's actually a designated place for the uh, bow filler piece. More storage moving down here on the floor. It's got the largest in-floor storage out of any 22 dual console in the industry. Take notice of the rod rack on top so you can actually store fishing rods. And on the bottom here you can actually store skis and wakeboards. And of course it's got the gutter system so it prevents water from going in there on your personal items. And that, that compartment is lockable also. Over here on the dash we have a gray gel coat dash which helps reduce the glare from the sun while you're driving so you don't have to squint while you're driving. Also we've got double illuminated backlit rocker switches with all your breakers underneath it so no, no use for fuses. Notice a uh, tilt stainless steel steering wheel as well as trim tab indicators here on the side. Rabal, as I said before, powered by Yamaha, has the new Command Link Plus gauge package here on the dash, which gives you your miles per gallon, gallons per hour, and it's on one computer system. Also take note of the captain's chair here. It's a flip-up captain seat, so you can actually stand up or sit down while driving, and it is adjustable. On top of that, you have a molded footrest on the bottom, so while you're driving, you've got an angled footrest to give you extra support. Mm -hmm. Moving to the port side of the boat here, we've got a back-to-back -back comfortable lounge seat here on the side. And the nice thing is, it folds out to a, a, a sunbed, so you can actually lay down while you're out on the boat. On top of that, underneath the lounge seat is a huge insulated fish box. Notice the stainless steel gas assist shocks that hold up the fish box. This fish box also drains overboard. Moving to the uh, starboard side of the boat, we have a live well on this boat that's actually underneath this seat, so it's tucked up out of the way. Notice it's got a clear lid so you can monitor your baits. It's got blue gel coat and blue LED lights. So nice size live well on this size of boat. Also take notice some of the, the fishing features. You've got stainless steel tow rails here on the floor. You also have reel protectors to protect your reels when you're offshore. Also the boat has bolster cushions around the entire boat, giving you extra protection and protecting your knees from getting bruised. This is one of the only 22 footers that has a standard battery charger. Notice the plug here to plug in your battery charger. Also, Rabalo is number one in the industry when it comes to bilge and service access. Let me take a look and show you here. You lift up this transom seat here, and all of a sudden you've got full access to the entire bilge area. You can take a quick look and see the battery charger, all your pumps, batteries, even access to through hole fittings. So it makes changing out pumps, fuel water separators very easy. Everything's within hand's reach. Another cool thing about this transom setup here, it's a fishing bolster seat that also converts 
into a full size transom seat where you can fit four children or three adults. So this adds to the versatility of the boat like we talked about earlier where you convert, convert the boat from a fishing boat to a family cruiser boat. And on top of that, as far as other cruising features, you've got a removable ski tow bar here in the back of the boat. It actually puts the rope over the motor so when you're out on the boat with a family and you're skiing, it supplies a nice, uh, nice level uh, place to keep the rope. Coming up here to the front of the boat again, I want to show you the uh, head compartment in this boat. Everyone's always shocked when they see how big the head is on this for a 22. It's got a nice wide entryway with a vacuum flush porcelain head, which is very unique for this size of boat. It's not a pump out, it's not a porta potty, that's a real vacuum flush head. Notice the uh, high maple cabinetry along with a uh, Clarion stereo system with an iPod plug. So plenty of access to the head area. Also take note of the bolster cushions surround the entire boat. So no matter where you're sitting, whether you're sitting on the captain's chair over here on the port side and you're talking, you've always got a bolster cushion, which is very unique for this, this size of boat also. Now moving to the transom of the 227, it's got a transom walkthrough door, which is very unique on this style of boat also. And notice the magnet that holds the door shut while you're offshore. No more straps, no more door banging in the back. Also, here on the transom, you've got a fresh water shower that actually pulls out of the transom here so you can rinse off when you get out of the water. And on top of that, you've got a uh, swim ladder which actually has a fiberglass lid on top and all recessed hardware. So the ladder pulls outside the transom and it's a three-step telescopic ladder. You shut the lid and all of a sudden you have a perfect walk through here with nothing to trip on. Also notice on the R227 Rabala, we're using the new Command Link Plus motors from Yamaha. It's the new V6. It's the latest and greatest in technology. Rabala chooses to use Yamaha because of its innovation, fuel economy, and most importantly, its reliability. And this concludes our walkthrough on the 227 Rabala.